Hello, welcome to today's video. We are opening up the book again, the Classical Guitar Method, Volume 1, and we are on page number 13. This is Etude number 1, or Melody. So first of all, let's put ourselves in a comfortable position so that our guitar rests comfortably on our raised left leg. Now, if for some reason the guitar cannot comfortably stay put this way, if we have a different kind of guitar, if it is neck and headstock heavy, we can go ahead and raise the other leg, the right leg, and just put it like this. And it'll be just as fine. And that means your left leg will be a little bit lower, and you'll have to kind of bend it a little bit so that it's right in front of you. And the neck will maybe be a little bit lower, but it's okay. We still have access to the left side with the neck. Okay, but for me, I'm going to stay this way because this is the way my guitar is made. Remember, if you're able, keep the headstock at about the same level with your eyes and your head. Let's go over these notes individually. So remember, with your left hand, go ahead and just hold anywhere down here by the... Uh, the base of the neck and the body, or you can hold up here. It's up to you. I like to hold down here, though. So remember, apply, apply counter pressure with your thumb, P, downward, and when you pluck, remember you're plucking inward towards the palm of your hand. Here we go. Starting with the first system, we're going to play and we're going to say the finger numbers. One, Two, three, four. I am, I am, I am. Now for B. I am, I am, I am. Back to E. Let's say the note names. E, E. steps for learning this piece, etude number one, by clapping the rhythm, clapping and saying the note name, and then playing and saying the note name. Let's go ahead and play thoroughly from the beginning to the end. Always use a metronome to keep yourself in tempo. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Very good. Let's move on now to our next piece. We are working on etude number two. This one is called arpeggios. It says here, arpeggios are notes of a chord played in succession, one right after the other, either forward or backwards. It says here that we should let all notes sustain, which means just let them ring without, without muting the string. Just let it ring and count out loud. That's one of the steps. It says here, keep the thumb in front of the fingers at all times. 
just kind of like this in front of the fingers and bringing the fingers like this. So that we're using now P, which is the thumb, to play G, and I to play B, and then we have M to play E. Go ahead and place every single one of those fingers on each of those strings. G, B, and E. Let's pluck them together. Bring them in towards your palm. Let's try that again. Let's try one at a time. G, B, E. Mute. Here we go. Remember, we should have already clapped and said the note names and counted, and now we're going to play and say the note names. Remember, your fingering, follow it carefully. P, I, M, I. Here we go. Let's go ahead and say the note names. One, two, three, four. G, B, E, B, G, B, E, B. Let's say the finger numbers. P, I, M, I, P, I, M, I, P, I, M, I, G, B, E, B, G, B, E, B, and on P. Two, three, four. The notes are different now. P, I, P, I, or G. first two etudes on pages 13 and 14 of the Classical Guitar Method book, Volume 1. Please practice each step every day, practicing carefully. Remember to go with the metronome as well, and let these strings ring, always keeping your fingers over the rosetta, close to the sound hole, bringing them flexing towards the palm of the hand. And we will see you next week.